channel guys welcome to house plan market today i'll be explaining how you can determine the correct concrete mix ratio of one is to two is to four using the volume method most workmen in nigeria as of today understand the concrete mix ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 to be the same thing as one bag of cement will be used to mix two wheelbarrow of sand and four wheelbarrow of chippings or gravel. This is totally wrong because the volume of cement in a bag is not equal to the volume of sand and gravel in one way by room. So it is so it would be wrong for anyone to say that a concrete mix ratio of one is to two is to four is the same as one bag of cement is to two barrel of sand and four barrel of gravel or coarse aggregate. Let's look at the meaning of concrete mix ratio of one is to two is to four. When you find yourself walking with a mixed ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 what it simply means is that for a concrete mix of 1 is to 2 is to 4 a specific volume for the cement will be need, will be need or rather we need 2 times the volume for sand and four times the volume for the coarse aggregate just like i've explained here if this is the volume for sand sorry if this is the volume of cement you need two of it for the sand and you need four of that kind of volume for the coarse aggregate but the challenge is here is that cement is always measured in bag. You always measure cement in bag while sand and gravel are measured in wheelbarrow or a pan. So it becomes difficult for workmen at the site to figure the actual ratio to use. At the site, it will really be completely wrong to say that a concrete mix ratio of 1 is to 2 is the same as one bag of cement is to 2 wheelbarrow of sand and 4 wheelbarrow of gravel, just like what we have here. As you can see. This is completely wrong. This is completely wrong because one bag of cement is the two barrel of the sand and four barrel of gravel. If this is used, if this is used, I can show you you are going to get a very poor concrete mix ratio. Now to get the right mix ratio. For a concrete mix of 1 is to 2 is to 4, you will need to know how many headpans of cement you will get in a bag of cement. From the above image, you will notice that you can get Approximately two headpans. You 
which is what I'm trying to show you here. You get two advanced. Of cement in every one bag okay having this at the back of your mind it becomes very easy to determine the right mix ratio for a concrete mix of one is to two is to four yeah because you've already known that for a bag of cement you get two at hand yeah Looking at that ground above, you notice that one bag of cement, which is this, will give you two advance of cement. That is, if you open this bag and turn it to advance, you are going to get two of it, and the uh, for the case of the wheelbarrow, you discover that one full wheelbarrow of sand will equally produce four full advance of sand. The same thing, if you are looking at the cheapest area, you will equally discover that if you have two full wheelbarrow of cheapies, when you decide to turn it into advance, it's going to come out eight of it. Right now that we have been able to convert the bag of cement and wheelbarrow into a pants of cement, sand, and gravel, it becomes very easy to know the exact value to use for a complete mix of one is to two is to four. Looking at the diagram. You will discover that one eighth pan of cement is equal to two eighth pans of sand. That is, if you are looking at one into two is to four, and four eighth pans of chippings or gravel or of was aggregate. Okay, and if you go down. To the second one, you discover that the second eight pan of cement will still be the same as two for the sand. That is, if you are using one is to two is to four ratio, and the remaining four for the gravels or quartz aggregates. Okay. Now, if you combine these two eight pans of sand, that gives you your one bag of cement. Okay, as previously explained. And if for the for the case of the sand, if you combine them together, it gives you what the wheelbarrow, which is one. And for the case of the gravel, it gives you two wheelbarrow of chippings of gravel. This analysis here I just explained here is what gives you a complete mix of one is to two is to four which is the same thing as one bag of cement to be mixed with one wheelbarrow of sand and two wheelbarrow of your coarse aggregate. Yeah, please ensure that you have a good water quality content to be mixed with it. Okay? For those of us that are new to the system, I'm talking about the workmen and the young engineers that lost using a pan for measurement at the site. It can equally be converted back to a pan. That is, if you are not okay with using wheelbarrow at the site, or if there is no possibility of wheelbarrow at the site, you can easily convert it back to a pan, and you get. Converting back to a pan, you get for one bag of cement, you get four eight pans of sand and eight eight pans of your coarse aggregate or chippings, or you call it gravel, whichever one that you understand. Okay, so far, so good. 
this is the easiest way you can use to determine a concrete mix ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 concrete mix by volume thank you so much for spending time with me please feel free to drop your comments below and subscribe to my youtube channel for more insight on house plan and building construction matters bye for now